There was a big businessman named Wilton. He had a son, Jack, and daughter, Ruhi. He was searching for some documents. And after some time for some papers, they both fought with each other. When he reached the office, he was shouted on his employees for missing the documents. Ruhi says, to calm down, we will get the papers. Jack left for office. So everyone came to know that the boss was upset. After some time, he went to the bathroom. And he saw that his sister Ruhi was dead lying on the floor. He calls the police. And he says to police that what all he saw. I think she had got hit from the basin. And she died. When the police saw the bathroom, he understood. Can you say how police came to know who the murderer is? Let us see the answer. If you notice in the bathroom, the basin is on the right. And the body is on the left, so his brother is lying. So his brother Jack had killed his sister. Laura threw a party at her place with her friends Mitchell, Jack, Carter, and Sheena. All had great fun at the party. When they were partying, suddenly they noticed Sheena was missing. Laura called the police. Police reached Laura's house and inquired her friends. Mitchell told that he was tired of dancing, so he was relaxing on the sofa. Jack said, I was in the washroom, so I don't know about it. Carter told, I was helping Laura with the juice. Meanwhile, the police found Sheena, and she was dead. When police examined Sheena, they got a clue who the murderer was. Can you say who had murdered Sheena? Let us see. When Sheena was examined, they found a button in her hand. If you see Jack, a butt from his shirt was missing. Jack has killed Sheena. One day, Harry was very tired. He was sitting on the sofa watching TV. He had three sons, Chris, Jacob, and David. Later, he was found dead in his room. Police came to the crime scene. Police investigated the room, then he investigated his maid. First she told that I was not in the house. I went to the market to bring some vegetables. Chris said I was in the bathroom. I don't know. Jacob told that I went out with my friends. David told I was with an electrician who came home to repair the TV. Police came to know who had murdered. Can you say how police know who the murderer is? Let's see the answer. When David told the electrician came to repair the TV. If you notice, TV was working. So David has murdered his father, and he was telling a lie. There was a famous hotel in Mumbai. It was famous for its pastas. One morning, the chef was tense as he was getting some calls. The customer started complaining that today the dish is not good and they sent it back. The manager came and shouted at him. After some time when a waiter came and he saw the chef was dead, he was murdered. The police came for the investigation of three people, manager, cleaner, and helper. Police asked the manager. He said, I just came to say that the customer was complaining and he shouted at me. Cleaner said that he came to clean the dish and he went off. Helper told me to go out to bring things from the store. Can you say who had murder chef?
police came to know who had been murdered. Let us see the answer. If you notice near the fridge there is a fork with blood and if you see the cleaner has the mark of fork and his leg is bleeding. So cleaner is the murder. In a hotel suddenly everyone heard the sound of the gunshot. They all ran to see in which room. It was from the Kelvin room. The receptionist called Detective John. When he went to Kelvin's room, he saw he was dead. He saw that Kelvin got hurt in the head. Detective John came to know that his business partner was staying in the opposite room. He called his partner Sims and told how we both fought that day. And Kelvin was very angry he took his gun out and the shot went from my hat to outside the window. For my safety, I shot the gun on Kelvin, and he was dead. So I am not a murderer. I used it for my safety. Can you find out Sims is telling lies? Detective John got doubts about him. Let us see the answer. When the detective saw, Sims had had one hole in one side. Because if a gunshot had gone from his hat, then the hat would have two holes. So he was telling lies. He had murdered Kelvin. Four friends from college. Lucy, Alina, Smith, and Frederick. They heard about the camp that was organized from the college and were excited about it. They packed the bag and assembled in the college and as there were many others also participated in this camp. It took a bit long for all of them to reach. When they reached Lucy, Smith, and Frederick planned to go out, but Alina stayed in the tent. She told Smith she was tired. When they came back, they saw she was dead. The doubt went on Alina's sister, her friend Rosie, and her brother Nick. The head of the camp went to every tent and investigated. He came to know who had murdered her. Can you find them by seeing their things? Who is the killer? Let us see the answer. When the head checked their bags, he saw an Alina friend his brother's photo and Alina kerchief with full blood. From this headmaster came to know that the killer is Alina's friend Rosie. One afternoon a lady was murdered. When her mom came and saw she was shocked to see that, she called the police for further investigation. Police came and he checked her. After that he called all who were at home. Mom, dad and brother. Mom said I was cleaning the room. Dad told I was writing stories in the drawing room. Brother told I was in the pool. Police said to show their hands from that he came to know who had murder. Can you tell by seeing their hands? Let us see the answer. When the police said to show their hands, if you notice the hands of the brother, his hands were normal. If he is in the pool, then his hands would have the after effect of being water for a long time. So his brother was murderer and police arrested him. One old man lived in an apartment. His name was Scott. One morning when the maid saw that Scott was dead and she called the police. When his body was autopsy, it showed he was poisoned. Police started investigating the neighbors. One man told no one visited him recently. But two days, Becky was angry on Maid and could hear him shouting on her for not doing things right. The security of the building also confirmed no one visits him except the Maid comes every morning. Then the police called her. She said the day before yesterday, he was so angry for no reason and he was shouting. So I have not turned up the next morning. Today, when I came for work, I saw he was dead. I have been working for many years. Why will I do that? He would have eaten something poisonous. Can you see the picture? and say what he ate that he was dead. Let us see the answer. When the police saw the place all over, 
They also found that the parrot was also dead. They saw a piece of bread which had turned blue near him, and the police got to know that the bread was poisoned. And when they inquired, they got to know that the maid got the groceries. So the maid was the murderer. In a family, all were doctors, and they all worked in a hospital. But her daughter Lucy doesn't want to become a doctor. She does it forcefully because of the pressure in the house. She loved painting, and whenever she gets time, she used to paint. She went to the hospital when the doctor told the patient she did something wrong. So she was out of the hospital. When she came home, the whole family was asking her why she didn't do her duty well. She says, I want to become an artist. After some time, when her mother goes to her room, she sees that her daughter is dead. She calls Detective John immediately and starts his investigation. His father told I was in my clinic attending an online patient. Her aunt told I was watching a star in the sky from a telescope. And his brother told I was not at home. Can you say who had murdered Lucy? Who is telling lies? Let us see the answer. When Detective John asks her whole family that her aunt says she was watching a star from a telescope, but it was daytime, how she can see starts so she was telling a lie. 